Good morning, everybody. It's very sunny today, which is nice. And there's my breakfast, as always. And I'm going to go on Spark People over here and track it along with the two cups of coffee I always have every morning. Coffee itself has no calories, but the cream creamer does that I put in it. But I don't load it. But I hate black coffee. Can't stand it. Hello. Good night. <laughs> what were you doing with the refrigerator? This We're is the old. Where that's where we put the old refrigerator for now. Just turned it to where I can keep the doors open. Yeah, cause he needs Dan's help to get it somewhere else, cause it's too heavy. Yeah, looks are deceiving. That one there is fucking heavier than the one in the house. Yeah, and it's smaller. Yeah. But I noticed one difference is that the new one has an enclosed back and this has all that stuff on the outside. Yeah, that's the corners so. that the three iron runs through. Yeah. And out there is the old dryer and the washer that still needs to be cleaned up and brought in. That's the last thing. Yeah, the old dryer just gonna uh, eat sold it up first where he robbed every, all the first offering that we needed. So. Yeah, and Dan wants the heating coil. Yeah, and Dan wants the, the heating element out of it. Yeah. So, if anyone can use parts off in it, let them take them and what is left over will just turn it into scrap tin. Yeah, recycle it. Yeah. So Sammy, wherever he went now, is turning into a big kitty. Because yesterday I went to let him in and he had a mouse that he killed. So now he's a big kitty. make a spot out in the shed to get that refrigerator put in out there we're going to save that yeah for a backup fridge yeah because it still works yeah it still works good so yeah want to get cleaned up and shit for storing it yeah the weather's decent yeah and Tug's right there you Don was home, and you came and drugged me out of bed to let you out. Why did you do that? Why didn't you ask him? Well, he did, but I wasn't letting him out, because I just let him in, like, 10, like, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I but woke you up. I thought that you were gone, and that he had, he needed out, so I come out here, and you walked out of the your little smoking den there. <laughs> yeah, well, so you were a smartass. He was already out for, like, an hour and a half. Yeah. He was just wanting back all oh, that's what that was about. Because you barely walk away from the door and then he comes up and lays that one on the porch. Yeah. So I work 4.30 to close for the next three days and then I have three days off and then I work 10.30 to 6.30. And this week it's at the big store. Right now Rich has me alternating by weeks. One week at the little store, one week at the big store, back and forth. So that's fine. Well, I'm all ready for work. What'd you get in the mail? Yeah. Whose is it? Are you going to bring it to me? Why? Because it's a package. I'd like to know what it is. You don't need to know what it is. <laughs> sure in the hell ain't for you. It's got your name on it, but it's not for you. Is it your ring? Yeah. So it came two days earlier, earlier than the tracking number says. But this here is yours. That's garbage. That goes straight in the goddamn wood stove. I'm so sick of those people trying to get me to get their... Uh credit cards and then I know if I would apply they would instantly deny me. Sure, it's nice got your name on it, but it's what, I, what you got ordered for me. It's funny, I just checked the tracking number and it said Wednesday. Well, there you go. So tell them what that is. It's a ring for the fuel pump. For? Holding it in place. For? A vehicle. Which one? The Dodge. Okay. Bugger. Yeah. So anyway, I have to go to work three days in a row, and that's about all. So I'll leave the vlogging to him, and hopefully he'll say something. Not. I hope so. Fuck that. You're not nice. Yeah, I am. I'm an angel. Hey, everybody. Been just sitting around relaxing, not doing a whole lot. Dan come over and visited for a little bit. I'd say like 20 minutes, half hour. Um, other than that, I've been just sitting here and watching TV, um, we're going to be starting dinner here soon, it's getting later in the evening, so I 
probably should consider about getting that started and work on that and probably gonna find something else to watch here as soon as I uh, get off the camera but um, it's been a pretty nice day out today it started cooling off it feels pretty chilly outside right now when you actually open up the door so good afternoon everybody yep another two day one work just gets in the way sometimes but I still make sure I get them up and the fuel pump for Don's car came so while I was on the bike the mailman came he came up to this door and I didn't couldn't hear him because I had music on and he put it right here on the porch so at least he didn't come to the other door this back door here over there or he would have seen me on the bike with just a sports bra and yoga pants on and I don't want that so I'm lucky he picked the other door because that would have been embarrassing and it's in the 60s and Tug is enjoying the porch and Sammy finally came in to sleep and he's been catching mice lately you're doing your job now right you learned your job you gonna take a bath <laughs> silly cat and of course I work at 4.30 4.30 to close Don is at work and I have no idea when he'll get home he said something about a job in Millersburg which is like 15 miles from here but I doubt they're only doing one they would have been back by now it's almost two they would have been back by now if they were only doing one so who knows where where they will end up I'm gonna make a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch with spray butter and then get in the shower at 2.30 and that's that so he's home he got home while I was in the shower show it to him what the fuel pump what do you think I started vlogging the old one yeah okay well, that wasn't rusted up last time I had it out though well no from not having any gas in the tank you said the car's been sitting there broken down since 2013 right uh, it's been sitting there for well, this last fall would have been two years. Yeah, so. Then the new ring. Yeah. And this is why I needed the new ring. So I'm trying to get the old ring off. I was busting it all up and crap. Yeah. That's why I wanted a new ring. <laughs> and put it back together. At least put it back together with new parts. Yeah, it smells like gas in here now. Oh, uh, that's just because of the fume that's coming off from the, the old fuel pump. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the fume dust coming off, and it's not actual gas. Yeah. It's just a smell of the fuel of it, of it setting there and turning. Yeah. Yeah. So where did into like turpentine? Where did you end up today? Um. Well, we went out on Snap Road over by Millersburg, and then I then uh, I can't remember the name of the other road, but out by Black Lake. Oh, okay, so you stayed kind of local. Yeah, we only had two jobs for local. Other than that, we just did them, and now we don't have any more local jobs. Yeah, so now that means every day you're going to go far away and be gone longer? Uh, down around Bel Air area. Yeah. Somewhere Traverse around that City. area, around Traverse City, Bel Air, down around that area. Yeah, so you're going, be, going, to you're going to be getting home at like 11 o'clock at night. Well, was, all I know is if me and Dan was to hit it hard for, you know, hit the jobs hard, like an average work week, yeah. We, we'd be out of work. That, huh. that, why do you think we've been doing so much dicking off? Yeah. Because if we was to hit it hard, there's not even a full week's worth of work there. Ah. Huh. I think there's about 14, maybe 15 jobs altogether. Yeah. Not many, so. Hmm. And Dan got the phone call from the mechanic about that other machine. Yeah. Dan sent a mechanic over there to check it out. So what's the verdict on that? Um, on the one that Dan wanted to get. Which is Colorado? Yeah, I think it's Colorado. Where he's got to go. And that's where he sent the mechanic over to do an inspection. Which was, I think, 40 or 45 bucks for Dan to send, send, send a mechanic over. And the only thing that the dude can find wrong with it, he said it, that he said it's still worth getting. He said he'll estimate the machine valued at anywhere between ten to $15,000. Yeah. And he said for uh, $5,500 is a steal. 
So what's the only thing wrong with um, it? He said it could uh, use eventually use a good set of tires for it and a uh, new hydraulic line. Huh. Okay. He said other than that, he said it's worth it's worth every bit of what they're asking for. So the the likelihood of you, if he can get the loan of you going to Colorado with him is getting more. Um, Dan was saying today that he wanted to take Corey and James and Garrett with him. If he takes them with him, I'm really not going to want to go. Oh, all right. But if it was just him, then I would. But if he's taking the boys with him, then I'm not really going to go. Yeah. So, Corey's a big boy. To where if Corey has to help Dan with the flat tire or something, Corey can handle that. Yeah. So anyway, I'm ready for work, and then that's all. So hopefully he'll vlog for you. Maybe he'll show you some of the work he's going to do if you're going to work on any more well, tonight. I'm ready to go in right now. So yeah. And besides, I got to clean out the gas tank first, make sure it's all cleaned out, make sure there ain't no dirt and water and shit in it. Yeah. The most important part right here anyway. got this for what, right around 70 bucks? Yeah, something like that. And they want 170, it's either 168 or 178 dollars they want from CarQuest for this part. Yeah. And that's the, the pieces you said? Yeah. <coughs> Which is the seal and the filter that goes down on the bottom seal that goes around here and the float for the gauge. Hey everybody, I just come out and clean out the gas tank. Got the gas tank cleaned out on the Dodge. Um, I got the new fuel pump right here, seal with the top ring. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the fuel pump in the gas tank. Then I'm going to have to look around and try and find uh, my fuel filter. I have a brand new fuel filter for the car. And I can't put the gas tank in unless I put the fuel filter in first. Because the way they design these cars, that's the fuel filter is set above the gas tank. Right, right above it. So once you put the gas tank in, you can't get into where the fuel filter is. Right there's the gas tank. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this to slide in. I might need both hands because I don't want to bend my uh, float for the fuel gauge. Alright, All right. sitting down in there, pull this ring back some. I gotta put this rubber gasket around this lip right here, then set the fuel pump in. But I'm gonna set you guys down for a second here. Okay, I got the fuel pump set in place, the seal's in place, and now I gotta take the ring that's down here, pull it up over top of the wires, and tighten it on. Well, it's going to fight me a little bit on it, but I'll let you guys go for now. you got the general idea on what I'm doing. But after I get it in there, I'm going to just shove the gas tank back up underneath of the car. It's starting to sprinkle right now, so I hurry up and want to get this done and over with. Okay, everybody, I got the ring put on. And got it on nice and snug like it should be. There it is. And there's a total of two plug-ins on this, but you only use one. Other than that, once I get the gas tank actually put in and bolted into place, then I would be able to dump gas in it and put a battery back in it and then I would be able to make it run. But that's all I'd be able to do is just make it run for now because I need more parts to be able to finish up the rest. But other than that, it's starting to rain a little harder out so I'm going to get this gas tank put away so that way I don't any, end up with any water inside it or anything in running the new fuel pump that I just put in. Alright everybody, I'm out here in the chicken coop. I just put some food down for the chickens. And they're all eating happily. I gotta bring out some water for them yet. But I just got uh, food down. 
I figured since I was already out here messing around with the car, that I might as well feed the birds because Tennille didn't get around to feeding them earlier in the day, so I'm out here feeding them now. They definitely like their food. Alright, come back here. I already looked down below the heat lamps. And I didn't see any eggs down there. But there's five of them up here. So we'll go ahead and get these ones collected up. Get them taken in the house. There's three. Four, five. Check around a little bit better back in here along this back wall here. But sometimes they'll uh, kick them along this back wall. I'm not feeling anything. So I believe I got them all now. But other than that, we're going to get out of here and get in the house and get a cup of tea. And just want to let you guys know that the refrigerator that we got for 25 bucks is working really good. Um, for like the first 24 to 35 hours, it wanted to run constantly at first without shutting down. And I think that was just because it hasn't been used in a few days and that it really had to get everything cold again. But now it's kicking on and off like it's supposed to and everything, so that's a good sign. Um, other than that, we can't complain for a big refrigerator like that for $25. It's a good deal. I know it looks a little bit rough, but when you ain't got a lot of money and you don't have a landlord to go and say, Hey, my refrigerator quit working. I need a new one. You know, we, we can't do that because we don't have a landlord. So when we need new stuff like that, we have to go out and get it ourselves. But, like I told Tennille, we'll take that refrigerator that we've been using bring it out into the shed after we clean it and put the extra washer out in the shed after I put it back together and get another belt on it so that way if the washer or dryer that we do have that we're using goes bad then we'll have at least another one to back us up to where we have something to fall back on to Don made me this really nice food and left it for me pork and beans and a baked potato and he's still up. What are you watching? TV. Netflix. Uh-huh. It sounds like Dan Aykroyd, am I right? No, you told me. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to say goodnight, and we hope that you enjoyed the video, and you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Kiss somebody's ass. Kiss your own ass. I would have, if I could. Yeah? Yeah. But if I kissed you, I would be kissing an ass. You are mean. <laughs> Good night. Good morning. Bye.